Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're back at Downtown Disney. Uh, I think we're gonna do things a little bit different today. Usually we start over there near like the Symbolot side, and I think today we're gonna start over here at World of Disney. It is 9.30, like 34 I think. So all the stores are already open. So we're gonna go inside and see what's new. Just a quick reminder, when you guys are going into World of Disney or any store indoors, you have to wear a mask. They even have a sign for it, and they even tell you which ones you can't wear. But anyways, we have finally made it into World of Disney, and I think we're gonna start in the Nuemo section. So, there was supposed to be a new Nuemo plush coming out. I think it was Monday, but they actually ended up delaying it. And so the one to expect, um, I'm not sure when because they haven't given a date yet, is uh, Rapunzel. We should be seeing Rapunzel hopefully soon. So I know a lot of you guys are big fans of the ears, so here's the ear wall near the entrance of World of Disney. Doesn't look like they have anything new today as far as ears. But they do still have these $50 bobble bar ears if you guys are interested. And then behind it, it looks like they have that scented popcorn lounge fly bag, which can actually hold a pair of ears. So do you guys remember that new Stitch Crash of Disney Plus I showed you guys in yesterday's video? Well, they have tons of them over here at World of Disney in case you guys are looking for them and can't make it inside the park. And just to remind you guys, these are $29.99. If you guys were fans of that, uh, that Spear Jersey sweater I showed you guys yesterday, they have it here too, along with the pants. And then they even have that like Christmassy spare jersey sweater I showed you guys too. And that's located over here in the men's section. Looks like they have a pretty good amount of those uh, lounge fly bags I showed you guys the other day in Nick's Snacks. These are the cocoa ones. Pretty cool. $75 for that one. I love this pumpkin decoration over here. It's pretty cool. Right underneath that they have the bubble ones I showed you guys the other day. These are the ones that are $30. Over here in the Star Wars section, they have that pretty cool Darth Vader shirt that I showed you guys the other day inside of DCA. And then across from this shirt, they have this new Grogu plush. And he's actually inside of his pram. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I think I might have seen this inside of the Disney store when that was still open. But at least I'm glad to see that it's finally here at the, at, well, we're at the Disney, I don't say the parks, but we're the Disney. $29.99 for this one. Over here in the Marvel section, looks like they've added a lot of Eternals merch. They have this jacket over here, which is actually, uh, it's reversible. So this is how it looks this way. And then here's how it looks when it's reversed. This looks a lot better in my opinion. It's a lot more like simple and not too crazy like this one. Uh, this one retails for $64.99 and looks like sizes range from a small to a 2X. Then they have this t-shirt with all the characters on it kind of nice. I like how it's like a dark gray shirt. This one is $36.99. Then they have a kid's shirt with all the characters on it. Looks like it's $19.99 for this one. I almost missed this. They have this pretty cool Eternals backpack. I like the colors on it. This feels like a, well it's like a faux leather. It's pretty nice. This backpack is... Uh, this backpack is $39.99. Here's another backpack I've never seen before. I have this Iron Man backpack, which is pretty cool. If you look at the light just right, it looks like it's carbon fiber. I just don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, but pretty cool though. It's got a water bottle holder. And this one retails for $49.99. So we just made it to the last room over here at World of Disney, which is room five near the exit. And here's a look at the ear wall. Again, no new ears today, but they have all these in case you guys are interested. So if you guys are not able to get into the park and you guys were huge fans of the pins I showed in yesterday's video from Disneyland, you guys are in luck because they have them here at World of Disney as well. It looks like they have all the Alice in Wonderland pins. They have the Fearly Departed collection. They have that Mickey and Minnie uh, Scarecrow pin. They have the Eternal pins, they have the Haunted Mansion pin, they have the Haunted Mansion Holiday pin. The only one that they're missing is that 20th anniversary Jumbo pin. That's the only one that's gone. But besides that, all the other ones are here. All right guys, so I ended up leaving World of Disney. Now, there wasn't that much new merch today, but at least now you know that a lot of the stuff that's in the parks, you can find here too. But now we know what's new in there. Now we're gonna go and see what's new around downtown Disney. So do you guys remember this photo op that I showed you guys the other day? I think it was on Monday that I showed you guys. This is the one that's right across from more of the Disney uh, on the tram route. Well, they've added more to it, so let me go and show you guys around. 
So it looks like they finally added a sign on the top over here. It says Disney Muppets Haunted Mansion on Disney Plus. And then down here, they've added some tombstones. This one is Gonzo the Great. He who lies here never faced his fear. <laughs> R.I.P. And then it says here rests Pepe, the King Prawn, Prawn but not forgotten. <laughs> and now on this side, it looks like they've added like gate doors. And then we have some bus over here of Beaker and Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. That's so cool. And over here we have some pretty cool portraits. So this one has a, a changing effect. And then these resemble the stretching portraits from the Haunted Mansion. So let me go and show you guys the effect on this one. So we got Kermit. And then... Now it looks like he's a ghost. <laughs> and then here's a stretching portraits like I told you guys. And then... Oh, this one turns into like Medusa. <laughs> That's cool. But anyways, I think our next stop is going to be uh, Marcin's Confectionery to see what kind of treats they're currently offering. So here's a look at what they currently have at Marcin's Confectionery. They have apples, the Jack one, the regular caramel apples, cupcakes, the Jack Skellington cake pop, Oogie Boogie Rice Krispie treats, Reese's Pieces, M&M's, and then a bunch of other cookies. The Churro cookie, spiderwebs cookie. So they basically have a lot of the same stuff that the park has. Check it out. Like I said uh, in yesterday's video, you can actually stand over here by the glass and watch them decorate the treats. So if you guys have ever seen one of my older like downtown Disney videos, you guys know that every time I come here, I always show you guys the old Void Building to see if there's any updates going on. And well, today there is a, a small update. They put up a construction wall. I said it was a small update because I'm not really sure what's going on, but there is a wall up right here, which you guys can see. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't hear any construction noises or anything, but the wall's back. And this is where they actually did that change of, of adding a door right here. So I don't know, maybe they're gonna put it back to how it was before, but hopefully we find out soon. So in case you guys didn't know, over here in this area in front of Wonderground Gallery, uh, since September 18th and then until October 25th, on Wednesdays and Friday nights, they have the Scarlers come out and sing. The only thing is I'm not really sure on a time because it doesn't say anything on the app about that, but I'd say just check around like nighttime. I'm sure you'll hear them singing. That's so cool. The monorail's coming to the station. Yeah, you can actually see it right there. It did stop at the station. That's pretty cool. I said it in a prior video. I really hope we get to ride that again soon. All right, guys. So I think our last stop of the day is going to be over here at the Star Wars Trading Post. Let's go ahead and see if anything's changed. Well, one thing's for sure. It's a lot busier than it was last time, which this makes me happy to see. Sadly, I still don't think they're selling lightsabers here. Uh, they do have the kyber crystals and looks like they do sell some of the blades back there. And then here's what they have in the second display case. Pretty cool. Check out this Razor Crest costume. That's cool. It goes over the wheelchair. This retails for... Looks like... $49.99. Besides that, it looks like they have a lot of the same merch we've already seen in the past. A lot of the Grogu stuff, lounge flies, wristlet, shirts, hats, mugs. They do have some jewelry that they have at Star Trader. You can find it here too now. You can even find a Stormtrooper helmet. Looks like they started putting out a couple of Christmas ornaments. They have this cool one of the Millennium Falcon. Oh, it's hand painted too. This one is $22.99. Jeez. And then they have this one of Ray. Her light is kind of bent, but still pretty cool. This one is $19.99. But anyways, guys, we ended up leaving uh, Star Wars Trading Post. At least I'm glad to see that there's people in there now shopping. <laughs> I feel like they'd have even more people if they had lightsabers back, but I don't know. Hopefully they, they return soon. But anyways, I think I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.